Okay, welcome back to JFix. Um, I'm just in the middle of changing out some springs in this uh, ZG Mitsubishi Outlander with um, some new ones that claim that they're going to make the ride height about 30 mil, I believe, higher than, than it is. So I've already taken um, some parts off to do that, but if you stay tuned, We'll do the other side and I'll show you in detail how it's done. Um, I'm going to be using these uh, springs, Dobbinson's. Never heard of the brand myself and they're not a sponsor, but um, I'm going to give them a go. I reckon they look like decent springs, so s stay tuned. Alright, uh, this is the first side done. Um, if you do try and take this job on yourself, you'll be amazed at, on how easy it is to do and well, I haven't taken it for a drive yet because we haven't done the other side, so uh, stay tuned for that. But um, so far, so you know, we're looking pretty good. Love the colour, and um, hopefully they do improve the height by the claimed 30 mil. Uh, one thing, though, I did forget to measure this side before I did do this. But before we do the other side, I'm going to measure that so we can actually see whether we did make any gains. So. Yeah. Alright guys, so because I was um, not very smart in measuring it beforehand, this is the side we just finished and I'm going to measure that and then we're going to compare it to the other side. It's probably not going to be the most accurate thing. So we're at 8, uh, 825, we'll call it 825 there. Now if we come around to the other side of the car. This side is actually hasn't been done yet, and if we measure that, we're at let's say you know to compare it to the other 80, 805. So it looks like it has raised it a bit. So that's a good sign. All right, so um, we're on the other side, driver side, uh, with this ready to do this other spring. Um, now I've already taken the wheel off and all that, so I don't bore you with that sort of stuff, but. Uh, a good idea now is to get in with some penetrating oil or, well in this case I've, I can't find mine so I'm going to use WD-40. But we need to get in and get these bolts, two bolts there, out. So we'll, we'll get um, some WD onto that. There's the other side. So we need to get that out so we can drop the suspension and all that. Also too, um, we need to get some penetrating oil on either that or the bottom, we'll probably go this top one, whoops, help if I show you. So get some on that and then we can um, start by taking all these out and we'll start making some progress, let's go. Alright guys, um, so I've got my uh, impact on there, uh, highly advised getting an impact on here, I've got a uh, 17, oh yeah, 17 mil by the way, on the impact and 17 mil on the um, nut as well. In case you need it but uh, generally you don't impact usually gets it off pretty good so let's uh, give that a go and um, then we can get the other one which is holding up the shock out so all right so uh, first bolt pretty much came straight out um, with the impact no worries, I'm going to leave it in there for the meantime, but we need to get to this back one. Sorry for the shaky camera work, but these things happen. So we need to take this one out here. And um, if you get a 17mm, which this one takes, and try and put it on there, someone has attempted to have a go at this before and failed at it. They've stripped the bolt out. I actually can't get a 17 on there. I don't really want to put an 18 on there, so... You guys might get angry at me, but I'm going to get the impact 17mm and I'm going to hammer it on there. Whether I can get it back off afterwards is another story, but let's try that. Alright, let's give this a go. I could live to regret this, by the way. Well, it's on, so let's get this bolt off. 
Okay, so I've got my 17 mil spanner, which I'm just going to put on there like that. I've got an impact, which is also a 17 mil, and we're going to give it a crack, see if we can get this out. been easier you may have a bit more trouble um, depending on where you live uh, it just depends um, use penetrating oil it's your best friend on this these sort of jobs so and impacts they really do do a good job so what we've got to do is get this one that you can't see but we're going to get that one off there and that's all the bolts we need to take out and release all this so we can drop everything oh actually I lie um, there is a bolt up the back, if I can get you in there, let's have a look. This uh, cross member um, bolt here, you may need to loosen that off a little bit because it's actually quite tight and once you do lo loosen that off you'll find that this whole arm will just swing and hit the ground, giving you even more access because we're going to need it with that new spring. Uh, I'm going to try to do this with a, a spanner, maybe another spanner on there to give me a bit more leverage and hope that that works. If not, then uh, we'll try something else. Oh. Sorry about that guys. Okay, that was uh, easier than, way easier than what I was expecting, but anyway, can't really complain about that, can you? Okay, so while we're at it, we might as well take these um, two bolts out, and I think, I'm pretty sure they're the same, but don't get them mixed up, just in case. So put them aside in a, a method that you are comfortable with, you know, so you don't lose track of them. And generally, you can just use the impact now to extract all these, these screws, which we might do now, actually, because... Actually, no, what we'll do is we'll get that bolt up the back, and um, we'll be back. I'm just going to use a 17mm spanner and uh, hope for the best. That worked brilliantly. If only every car was like that. Right, so uh, in theory we should be able to just get the impact and um, unscrew these bolts. They should come out. Um, but uh, let's give it a go, see if it happens. If they don't, put the bolts back, the nuts back on, sorry, and um, to a point where they're sort of flush and just give it a light tap with a hammer. Preferably like a brass hammer or something like that just to get them, get them out like that way, so, but hopefully this way works. Alright, so, um, finally got those two bolts out, as you can see, and we're jacking this, we had to jack up the whole suspension system to get the tension off of the, um, for the shock absorber and the other bolt as well, but uh, once you do that, you'll find that those bolts actually come out pretty easy. Um, now we're going to release the tension on this and hope that our spring doesn't go flying, which it shouldn't, the last one didn't. And uh, we can start doing a bit of a clean up and put the new one in. Okay, so um, what happened there is the camera decided to stop working for a bit, so missed out on all the important stuff. But basically, with this arm, um, you get that bottle jack under there and let it down slowly to release the spring. 
um, because if you don't, it might spring out and do some damage or whatever. But no, we've taken that out. Um, we've got our seals and that ready to go, our rubber stoppers. All right, so these are the seals that I'm talking about, or little rubber protectors. They just pop off. In this case, they look pretty good. So we're just going to give them a clean up. And the other one is up in here. It just comes off and we're just that looks also like it's in good nick. So we're just going to clean those and everything will be sweet. All right, here's a comparison between the new and old springs. Uh, and the height difference, well, it looks about 30 mil. So I just hope it retains that when it's um, in the car. I'm pretty confident that it will. So um, keep in mind too, this is in conjunction with some tyres that were um, we put on the car, which actually increased the height too, also by 40 mil, I think it was. But anyway, so that adds up to about 70 mil, hopefully. But let's find out. All right, so um, make sure you got the first thing, make sure you've got your spring the right way up. In this case, we do. All your little seals are on the end. Um, if you have a look in here, you can. There's, there's a little notch out where the end of the spring goes, so we obviously want to try and, um, get that matched up as best we can. Okay, you can see that we're a little. We need to get a little bit extra room um, because we're a little bit off, a couple of centimeters, I think. So, what I might do is I might just jack the car up a little bit more, give us a bit more height, and let this uh, bar go down a bit. I think we'll do that. We'll be back. All right, so I've jacked it up, um, probably another few centimeters, and I think now we've got enough in there for it to get sl slide in there. So. I'm just going to line it up as best as I can. Make sure you, you, all your little boots here are, st are still seated in the right place. And make sure that your, the end of your spring lines up with that little indentation. Which I think we've done there. So. What we need to do now is get the um, get this back up a little bit, and um, we start putting uh, some stuff back together. Okay, so we've got the um, bottle jack under there a little bit just to get it off the ground. Um, I might go a little bit higher because we're going to get this um, trolley jack underneath here to get us the height that we need because the bottle jack's not going to be sturdy enough, and it's not in a real good spot where it is as well. So we'll start doing that. Right, uh, so we've got Jack under. Let's give it a bit of a go. See if you keep a really good eye on uh, what you're doing here because it's under a lot of tension. So Okay, so this is the setup we've got. I didn't like how we had the jack before because it was um, actually pulling the arm out of alignment, which we don't want. So um, <clears throat> you're best off going in straight like that. I'll put a piece of timber there to help protect it. And we've just got to get in and screw this up. Well, jack it up, I should say. And then we're right to put it back together. Alright, so we're a bit out of alignment there with that jack before, so we've just got a hammer before putting too much pressure on it to uh, bring it over to the correct alignment, so we're just going to start jacking her up now. So 
So we just about got it lined up here. You can see we were about only three centimeters off, and then we can start hooking things back up. If you get your alignment right, um, you should go straight in. But I've already seen a little bit of a problem here with the shock absorber just catching on the side, but that's easy enough fixed. So Now it's just a matter of getting your bolt in. Um, doesn't matter which one you start with. Preferably this one. But uh, yeah, I think we'll go with this one. We'll try and get this one in. So let's go. Bolt number one in. Let's get a nut on that before we go ahead and do anything else. Rest. That was the hardest bolt, by the way. Now that's reasonably easy, you've got a bit of play on your, your shock absorber that you can uh, work with there. Also, um, your sway bar link here, that's, that's uh, once we let that uh, pressure down a little bit, that'll come into a bit better alignment and we'll be able to get that, that going. Good idea to give your bolts a bit of a clean up too, before you put them back in, if not replace them. All right, so uh, we're just going to get used to the impact to um, tighten these down, but um, I will leave the torque specs in the description down below for you to have a look at, so you don't make, make any mistakes. Um, now it's just a matter of just tightening that down, taking this jack off and see if we can get that um, sway bar link on right there and we're done. And you can see we're just about coming in alignment with the um, sway bar link there. Just a little bit more and I reckon we might have. Just let me take that bolt off. Sorry for the dodgy camera work. Guys, it's really working under not the ideal conditions here. Okay, that's gone straight in, so. And Okay, so that's all tightened down. Um, one more thing before we, we get and put the car back together is don't forget about this bolt that was up the back that we um, undid to drop this arm down. Very important not to forget that. And like I said, um, all your torque specs and all that are going to be in the description anyway, so don't they look good? Anyway, let's continue. Alright guys, so um, everything's back together. Um, we've jacked the, the car down, it's actually sitting on its own suspension now so I'm going to bust out the tape measure now as I said previously I didn't actually get a measurement from before but if you remember I measured this side um, before I did it and I think we're at about 8.23 or something like that from there I'm sure you guys will tell me can't really tell from this angle but um, I'm pretty sure we've got our 30 mil that we expected to get off those springs so if you have a look at it, you can sort of tell. In conjunction with the tyres, we've got a massive height increase of 70 mil off this. So, I'd call that a win. Anyway, if you guys enjoyed this video and would like to see more, please hit the like button and subscribe button. That would be great. And I'd love to hear some um, comments down below, so feel free to do that. Thanks for joining, joining me. Stay tuned. JFix.